Thanks, Bob. What a performance by the Nets. And, man, they needed this one coming off that game on Wednesday night. They did. After an emotional win against Boston and, and you know a comeback victory, an unexpected one against one of the best teams in the NBA, 51-point perform- performance by Karis LeVert, there was a letdown the next game. And, you know, that's what the back-to-backs can become tough. Didn't shoot the ball well, but Kenny Atkinson made a change in the starting lineup. He uh, brought, you know, Torian Prince off the bench and then had a shoot around. So he really switched it up, gave his team a real burst of energy, and they came out from start to finish, and they played great basketball 75 points in the first half and that was the thing get on him early and never let up yeah 75 points that's the most points that greg popovich has ever given up in the first half and that says he's gone against shaq and kobe he's gone against all of the great team yeah. the golden state warriors and for the nets to come out and do something that's never been done in 23 seasons uh for greg popovich and they continued it in the second half it was a beautiful performance really a team effort so many guys contributed but really karis lavert with that trip double was amazing. Karis LeVert's the guy whose name always comes up when people talk about how were the Nets able to get Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant to commit this year. They talked about the young core and what Karis LeVert has meant. This week, I mean, not that we didn't already know of LeVert's potential, but this week he's done historic things and really just putting an exclamation point on what we think about Karis LeVert and his future with this team. Yeah, and if it hasn't been, it wasn't for a couple of injuries the last couple of years, which has really kind of slowed him down a little bit. His development as a player has been tremendous. Last year, we talked about it. He was probably the Nets' best player at the time when he went out. He was a guy that could have made the All-Star game. Obviously, D'Angelo Russell took the reins and just kept playing well and got the All-Star nod, but we know what Karis LeVert can do, and you know, to have him as one of your main guys, and Spencer Dinwiddie did a great job for the majority of the season to make sure that they could get to this point but Karis LeVert is special he's one of those guys that if he can stay on the court and stay healthy you know the, the sky's the limit this win just like the Boston win was sort of tarnished by the way they played against Memphis this won't mean as much if they don't come out against Chicago on Sunday before going on a four-game West Coast swing. They need a good performance on Sunday again against the Bulls. They do, and, and the Memphis performance was tough because there was just a lack of energy and effort, which can be expected on a, on a back-to-back sometimes. But now you got to go get this Chicago win knowing that you have a bunch of monsters waiting for you uh, on, the West, on the West Coast. So this was a great win tonight. Enjoy this one tonight, and then start preparing for Chicago when you wake up in the morning. Great performance. Great working with you. Oh, man. Can we get you here more? <laughs> Honestly, I, the, the other guys, Ruko and I, I know, they're all tough. right. They're uh, difficult they're, yeah, to Yeah, you're with. much easier on the eyes. We'll send it back to Bob. <laughs>